Hi, so I'm talking to Ray from South Melbourne Fresh Fruit, um, Fruit Centre. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your stall, your shop here? Yes, um, we've been here in the South Melbourne market in South Melbourne for the last 15 years. And we have started with the conventional fruit and then added on two years ago the organic as well. And we get uh, our stock freshly from the wholesale market in Epping's on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And then we have suppliers uh, for vegetables and some uh, green grocer and uh, we have special deliveries for grapes and uh, freshly juiced uh, orange juice daily basis. And we are here five days a week. Oh, very good. Okay. Um, now, in economics, we're students of economics and we're interested in the forces that determine the prices yes. of, um, of goods. And I think that um, fruit and vegetables are very interesting in the way that the prices change. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what determines the prices of your fruit and vegetables? Well, we try to work on a fixed margin to cover our expenses and of course an income for us. But as you said, depending on the weather and the supply, mainly the weather, the prices fluctuate. And we try to work out between reducing our margin because we, when the things are too expensive, obviously it limits our sale, we sell less. So we have to let go of our margin to keep the same volume going. And people realize that first that it's expensive, but then we check other places because there are six fruit shops here or they go to the supermarket and they know it's expensive everywhere and because there is a reason for it. So then they come back to the market because we always work on the lower margin because we it's a community market yeah yeah, sure. yeah. Um, I noticed for example that you have a price of two dollars forty nine for bananas um, why is it that you don't set the price higher why don't you set the price say five dollars for your bananas yeah exactly as I said we have to work on a margin mm -hmm. and our margin just works like five dollars a box mm -hmm. six dollars a box and then depending on the supply and demand, we can fluctuate there. But we keep our margin at that rate. We don't work more than that. We get the volume going and have the customer, they know our prices. Yeah. We can't we can go too high because that would stop the sale. We can go too low because we're losing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that seems to be 249, a good margin for us today. Yeah. Okay. I've noticed um, on previous at previous times um, that uh, bananas have been very expensive. I've seen that bananas have been say ten dollars yeah, per yeah. kilo. So what would it? I remember that? about four years ago we were paying hundred twenty, hundred forty dollars a box because there was a tornado in the far north Queensland and three farms went out of business and the government did not allow the import of bananas. It was just banana coming far north Queensland and nowhere else. And not, not even from Perth and Darwin because they supply their own limited stock for their own market. So supply and demand. We had to pay high and people were actually people that stopped buying because we were selling them like twenty-four dollars a kilo, nineteen dollars a kilo. That killed that killed that line of business for us. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that people were buying things instead of bananas or um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they show reaction. I mean, yeah. that's a ridiculous price, you know. Yeah. So, though apricot, I mean, sorry, bananas and avocados and garlic, everyone buys on their shopping list. So, they stop buying banana, you know. Yeah. They, 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 they didn't find anything else for it, I mean, to replace it. They just stop buying it. Okay. Uh, now, um, you also talked about organic produce that you sell, and that's a new thing? New addition to our business, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, do you think that people's tastes and preferences have changed over time since you've had your, your shop over the last 15 years? Uh, I think people realize the advantage of having a organic, because in growing organic, you know, they use less pesticides and chemical 
I'm trying to ask to be they don't have any, you know, um, non-organic fertilizer to their farm. So it is healthier, especially the vegetables. The vegetables. But the other problem is that we can't get them all the time. Like for example, uh, apple season finished in late October, November. So there is no organic apple. They have to wait till February, March for the new season to start. So they always have to compromise because not everything is available. But they prefer organic. And the price is not that more expensive, you know? They have to buy less and, you know, have more varieties. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But not everything is available yeah. in organic all right through the year. So it depends on the seasons? Depends on the season. Lot day we have apple right through the year, normal apple, because they pick them up in February, March, and they store it in the cool room right through the year. Yeah. They control atmosphere, temperature, you know, in cool room, and they open one cool room and they supply, you know, for a few weeks, and then they open another cool room, you know. So yeah. it's sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for your time. You're most welcome. Okay. Okay. All the best. Thanks.